I said, hold still now. You should know better by now. Did you really think that you could get away? Honestly, I don't understand how you didn't see this coming. I protect you. I provide for you. I take great care of you, while also keeping up the illusion that you are dead. And to everyone else, you are. I don't understand why you don't appreciate all that I do for you. Is it really so hard for you to understand how much effort I put in to, to dealing with everyone during the day and then dealing with how absolutely ungrateful you are at night? I don't think you are fully grasping how difficult that is for me. I had to go through so much shit just to get you here in the first place. From separating you from everyone else to actually getting you here and even making sure that this place was safe and that no one could get in, and you can't get out. And then, I had to file a report saying that you were killed on the field. Now, I don't know if you can imagine this, but just think about how difficult it must be to love someone with all of your being and then imagine, no, create a world where they are dead and you have to live in that world every day so that people don't figure out what you did with them. I don't think you understand. You owe me your life, all right? Yes, I separated you from everyone you previously cared about. Yes, I, I destroyed your friendships, but they were leading you on anyway. You don't need them. You only need me. And you don't seem to appreciate me the way I appreciate you. See, you were severely injured. You almost died. If I hadn't taken advantage of your blood loss and slow fade into unconsciousness, you wouldn't be here. No one else would have come looking for you. No one would have found you. And I think you should appreciate the sacrifice I made for you. I let others die so that I could save you and only you. And you repay me with fear and hatred. You try to escape. You try to incapacitate me. You try to hurt me. And then you act surprised and horrified when I hurt you in return. <laughs> I just, I don't understand 
what must be going on through your mind to make you think that that's okay? Because let's be honest, you and I both know it's not. You know, as well as I, that I take care of you. Without me, you'd be dead. You need me. And I could very easily dispose of you. So I really don't think that you should be treating me this way. Do you remember when you first woke up here? You were afraid I didn't expect any less of you. It's an unfamiliar place. You were injured and in pain. How could you not be afraid? But after I explained what happened, you said that I was insane. And I could tolerate that for a while. You were still in shock, after all. It was only natural of you to lash out, and since I'm the only person here, it's better that you lash out at me rather than yourself. But then, after I nursed you back to health, I've brought you books to read, I've brought you a few games to play. I admit, it must be a little tiring, day after day, only having these few items, and only yourself. But, I am doing my best to make sure you are as happy as you can be. And you don't appreciate it. You just sit there pitying yourself. And why? I am here for you. After I'm released from my shift, I come here, I take care of you, I feed you, I, I keep this place spotless, so that the dust doesn't cause an allergic reaction, and so that no unwanted pests are attracted to any messes that would be around, and so you don't feel like you're living in filth. I bring you new clothes every day so that you can feel clean and not like you're completely slovenly. I bring you to a washroom every morning so that you can freshen up, and I, I cook for you, I tend to your wounds that have yet to heal, and what do I get in return? Fear. Resentment. I see you every day, trying to find a new way to escape. So forgive me if I think that hitting you in the heat of the moment is an effective solution. I have to deal with idiots every day who think you're dead. Who think that you were eaten by a titan. So forgive me if the last thing I want to come home to is an ungrateful piece of shit who thinks that after 
all that I've done for them. They have the right to hate me for it. Guess what, sweetheart? You don't have that right. Don't talk back to me. Yes, I suppose you are unable to do a lot of that to yourself, but that's no excuse for the way you treat me. Sit up. I'm done with your leg. Careful. The bandages are a little loose to allow blood to flow the rest of your leg. So, be careful because I will not redress your wound if your thrashing causes the bandages to fall loose. And now, come here. Do you want another punishment? Come here. Now, I have to go, right? I'll be here the same time tomorrow to feed you, redress your wounds, bring you your clothes, and take you to the washroom so you can get yourself ready for the day. And if you try to escape again, your punishment be far more severe. Okay. 